Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the League Code Day Challenge, and there's a weekly uh, premium pro challenge. I didn't even see that. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, today, <laughs> yesterday, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, you saw me. I was very tired, but today I have a little bit more energy, uh, a lighter day in my workout. Uh, I did, um, I'm kind of starting to ramp up on my. So if you if you don't want to hear the exercise update, uh, skip for it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of ramping up on the marathon training now and kind of um, tuning down my strength training. Um, so and that means that I'm not actually gonna push hard on this. I'm not not that I'm not pushing hard, but that I'm not going to try to gain on on the strength training and just kind of maintain what I have. So so nowadays I'm just doing um five sets of uh bench and five sets of squats and, and various things also i'm playing softball on sunday so so i'm doing like grip training and stuff like that and just try to get my body into shape so i can hit the ball as hard as i can uh and then i ran like six miles so so that's like a so uh, kind of an easy day so i'm kind of um just you know uh hopefully a little bit better uh Let's get started on today's problem. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Uh, I think today the weather is finally a little bit cooler. I don't know. If, actually, I, sh I didn't look at the forecast, but hopefully it stays this way for a little bit just for my running purposes, to be honest, because I've been running in the heat and it's been just really draining. All right, let's take a look at today's problem. Let's get started. Hope everyone's weekend is good. My I hope my weekend is good too. But uh, today we have 2192, all ancestors of a node in a directed um, a singular graph. You're given a positive integer n representing the number of nodes in a DAG. The nodes are 0 to n minus 1 inclusive. You have edges, okay. And a unite directional, okay. We turn a list of ancestors of i, where ancestors i is the list of ancestors of the i-th node, sorted in a set ending order. Okay. Um, I think the first thing to notice is that uh, for if you're trying to get an uh, upper bound of the complexity, is that the way they structured this? Um, because you know, and, and maybe it's just like a worst case analysis, right? If you're trying to get a grasp on complexity, in the worst case, it's going to be n squared. It is n squared because, well, like without even thinking that much about the algorithm, uh, because the size of the input is n squared. So you can't really do better than n squared in the size of the output because each. You can think of it as, um, you know, uh, like a, if you have a linked list type situation, um, then, then you know, the one node will have um, zero ancestors, then one ancestor, two ancestors, th three ancestors, and then dot, 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 and you sum it up, it's going to be n squared. So that's, that's, um, so that's just to kind of give you a... Uh, um, a lower bound on the the um, algorithm because that is the size of the output. You can't really do better than the size of the output because you have to construct the output, right? Uh, and then the first thing I do is look at the complexity, and it looks like the n's less than a thousand. But another thing is that it could be you, if n is a thousand, then a number of edges is at most two thousand, which still doesn't help enough per se because it, it uh, or I mean it helps, but. But in the worst case, your um, your uh, what was I going to say? In the worst case, um, what am I saying? Oh, sorry. In the in the worst case, like I said about the linked list, for, uh, I got blanked out for a second. Uh, maybe I do need some rest. I'm very tired still. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, in the worst case, it's still going to be n squared because even with a thousand, uh, a thousand node and say nine ninety nine edges, you're still going to have this n square ancestor thing, right? That we just talked about. So yeah. But otherwise, um, okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, directed a and node thing. I mean, I think this is just. Um, I mean, you have to be careful for sure, but. This just becomes a sort of. Um, I mean, I think the two probably. Or at least for me, immediately, the two ways to think about it and then the two ways to approach it um, for each of those two ways, I suppose. One is, is that you can start at the top, right? Like, let's say this is, this is actually drawn out kind of uh, in a cleaner way. This one a little bit less so, so I'll just use this one as an example. But you can start at the top, which is the, the nodes with no ancestors, and then work your way uh, bottom. 
Or, or um, you can work your way from the bottom, getting the nodes with no, um, no children and no descendants, and then work your way up. I think both, and for both of those cases, you can do it in two ways: iteratively with a queue-based solution. Uh, I, I, I maybe I said that a little bit weird because you can also do it recursively, kind of. Um, but then you can also do it iteratively with queue. You could do it iteratively with stack, I suppose. So there, there are a lot of ways you can implement it. Um, I don't think it matters that much as long as you're careful, um, and as long as you make, and by careful, I mean making sure that your complexity is linear in the size of the input, and the size of the input, uh, I guess that's not technically true, because you don't, uh, because si the, the nodes is not part of the input, so technically that part is not true, but size in the um, uh, number of edges in either case, right? So, okay. So yeah, so I'm gonna do it with uh, kind of uh, the way that I want to think about it. I mean, and I like I said, like I listed a couple of ways to do it, um, but the way that I want to think about it is actually uh, through something called topological sort. Uh, that's the kind of idea in my mind. I mean, it's not quite that, right? Because I mean, it's just not an exact one to one. But I think the idea of a topological sort allows me to kind of just um, you know, process them in the order. Like I will process them in the order of um, topological sort, maybe the, of the inverse graph, at least the way that I want to do it anyway. Because I want to start the the um, yeah, I want to start at the um, the top, the one with the no no uh, no ancestors, right? So okay. So yeah, maybe we have like n degrees is equal to zero times n, right? N minus one inclusive, right? Okay, zero base. And then now uh, for u, v, and edges, uh, use the from. So then we will have the n degrees, right? Uh, uh, but we also want to construct. Um, right now we have an edge list. We want to construct an adjacency list. So oh, that's what I like to do. I don't know. Maybe you could do it in other ways. <laughs> um, right. And then we could do both at the same time. So that's why I kind of wrote this way uh, of u dot append v, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And this is uni unidirectional, directional. So that's why, you know, you have to be a little bit careful because um, sometimes you're just too used to writing things in a certain way without um, thinking about the problem. But, uh, but yeah. And then now we can just do the uh, topological sort idea of just checking out, you know, find uh, in degrees of zero, right? So here maybe we have a Q, right? Uh, and then we just uh, kick off the Q. If in degrees sub i is equal to zero, then we Gucci, right? Uh, and we also need an answer thing, which is uh, be careful how you write this um, because in a way um, if you if you get a little bit lazy and I do that sometimes still even now so don't be you don't have to be ashamed but sometimes I write I write stuff like this and keeping in mind that this actually multiplies the reference so then you have the same reference in a lot of places and that's not what you want unless I'm wrong <laughs> which also happens a lot so double check in either case. But uh, okay, so then now, uh, yeah, so then now while well, length of Q is greater than zero, right? Uh, we know that answer is done, which is good. Uh, uh, yeah, so this is good now. It's good pop left. And then, and then now we want to tell um, the, uh, the child, child, children, the children, you know, for child and children, which is actually adjacency list sub uh, now, if I spelled it correctly. Uh, we want to just say, okay, answer sub child dot append now, because now you, now is the ancestor of the child, right? And then um, we we'll say in degrees of child subtract by one, and if in degrees of child is equal to zero, then q dot append child. 
Um, this is mostly right, but uh, but I'm only thinking on one level, right? This, this thing is that actually what you want to do is that, uh, for example, look, I'm highlighting, but uh, on, on node 5, you also want to um, keep the ancestor of the node that you're, you're coming from, right? For example, it's 5, you also want the 0, you want the 1, etc. So actually, this is a little bit, I mean, it's correct for the first layer, but it's not exactly right so what, actually what you want is um want to append the now which is true but then you also want to extend by answers of now i think that should make it good enough uh do you have to sort the thing and eh, sort it in a sense thing order okay fine i mean we'll just run it real quick we can sort later <laughs> uh, i guess that just oh hmm I mean, I mean, it's easy to get rid of this, the the dupes, but I wonder how that comes about. I'm just curious. I mean, th that part is not the hard part, so I'm not worried. I mean, I, I think we're effectively done, but I, but I'm, what I'm trying to do is also just like. You know, understand the like it, it's a little bit unexpected still. Like I, I did expect it to be unsorted, and we can actually just sort it when we pop. I think that actually um, makes sense because you're already done with this answer anyway. But I don't know why the duplicates. Oops, that child now. Oops. Um, I'm actually curious why the duplicates. It, it may because it represents a. That I'm missing. Oh no, I guess that makes sense actually. Uh, I think what I was okay. I mean that's fine. I think uh, the reason why this is the case is because, for example, if you look at uh, this one, the example one, if you look at six, um, one uh, zero comes from three, but zero also comes from four. So okay, okay, I, I buy that. That's it. Actually, uh, um, it's not a logical error. I mean, it's consistent with what I. Um, uh, I thought the problem is because you don't want to just like put in hacks without really understanding why but this is actually consistent with uh, why I'm wrong um, but that's you know that's fine because um, then now we maybe now we want set instead um, and then now da -da 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 -da. Uh, and that should be good oh do I still need to sort? I'm just curious. Hmm. Curious with this, I don't know, this just feels a little bit awkward to me. So I'm just going to do something like, um, I don't know, eh, a little bit. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Hmm. All right, fine, All right? Hmm, I don't know. I, I, I still want to be like if I'm treating it as a contest where I want to be safe, so I'll just do something like this. Um, but I am curious. I mean, I don't. Hmm. I I think uh, I don't. <clears throat> like I'm never a hundred percent sure about. Uh, look, it's a palindrome, but uh, I, I'm never hundred percent sure about like, you know. Um, I mean. In, in terms of just memory, like whether a set is sorted, um, like it could be just something that happens to be true, but or gu guaranteed by the thing. But it, but it's, there's nothing about a set that, um, as an API, has to be sorted, right? So I think that's the thing that I'm worried about. Uh, I'm curious whether that works without it. Uh, I mean, it works for examples, but oh, okay. So I'm not wrong. Okay. That's good. Um, I mean, I was just curious anyway. But yeah. Um, how did I... Uh, this is not that long ago. What did I do that time? Oh, I did it um, recursively. Uh, probably the same idea though. So hmm. uh, yeah, so let's go over the complexity, right? Um, yeah. Uh, so the t so all of this is you know linear right um this is linear this is linear i guess uh, this is technically not linear in the sense that uh n is not the input size right so 
this is technically exponential, but I don't know. It's just very awkward to phrase for graphs like that, but um, um, because it's not technically an input, but yeah. Uh, but it, eh, just going by n, this is O of n, so we don't have to talk about uh, it quite in that way. We have O of n, O of, uh, well, that's just initialization. Uh, o of uh, e for edges, O of n, and then, so this obviously uh, loops O of n times. Uh, here, um, for each child, this actually is, um, uh, what you might call it? It's O of e, right? So the summation of all the edges will, will be here because each edge will only be on here once. Okay, right? Um, however, uh, this thing is the expensive part because this could be uh, linear in the size of the uh, nodes. Um, and, you know, like we can construct, the, as I said, you can construct the n-square solution or uh, something that takes n-square just by like, duh, 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 I guess, no, duh, 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 duh. no, that's a star graph, but just something like this, oops. All right, I'm too lazy to actually write it out, so I'm just going to write out five. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this will be, oh, I guess that's the last, oh, I guess this is six sample two. Hmm. Maybe. In any case, yeah, as you can see, this will be what I said, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And if you take it out to 1,000, it will be n square, right? Which is um, actually super uh, linear. Uh, in fact, it's quadratic, right? So, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do your mental health. I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.